Good evening, brothers and sisters. Today, I'd like to talk about how to prepare for the coming Messiah. So many Christians are actually waiting for Jesus nowadays. But in order to wait for it, we need a way what God wants us to be. In this video, I'd like to talk about in the setting of a dress. So they have a different dresses in the Bible. There are garment of salvation and robe of righteousness. The first thing I like to talk about the status of being naked. Revelation chapter 3 18 I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become rich and white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and serve to put on your eyes so you can see. Here in this verse, shameful nakedness, what does mean? We have, we have to be properly dressed, which is robe of righteousness. Here in the highlighted letters are the white cork, white clothes. White clothes it is required for the wedding of the Lamb. If you don't have this proper dress, we are shamefully naked. Even some people who have a garment of salvation, garment of salvation, consider underwear. If you have a underwear only, they still consider spiritually naked. That's why in this verse said that save to put on your eyes so you can see, which means we don't see we are spiritually naked. We have to open our eyes spiritually so we can see what we have. Another verse is in Revelation, Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed so as not to go naked and be shamefully exposed. Once again here, remain clothed. This is a very important concept. Even we have a clothes, we have to remain in clothes. Sometimes we may losing this robe of righteousness. So we have to make it effort to keep this robe of righteousness in good condition. In the next slides, this is a comparison between garment of salvation and robe of righteousness. Isaiah 61.10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyfully in my God, for he has clothed me with garment of salvation. He has covered me with robe of righteousness. As bridegroom decks himself with ornament, and as bride adorns herself with her jewels. Here, the red highlighted letter, garment of salvation and robe of righteousness. These are two different dress. We all need these two dress in order to go to rapture. If you, we have a garment of salvation, which means we got saved, this garment of salvation considered spiritual underwear. This garment of salvation we needed to go to heaven when he died. This robe of righteousness is spiritual outerwear. This is same dress called wedding dress, wedding clothes. This is necessary clothing to go to wedding of the Lamb. So in order to go to rapture, we need this robe of righteousness. Garment of salvation, we get it freely after our sins are forgiven and after we believe in Jesus as our Savior who died for our sin. Compared to this garment of salvation, robe of righteousness is we have to earn it. Like as like I mentioned earlier, this garment of salvation considered underwear. We cannot go to wedding of the lamb with underwear. We need the special dress, which is robe of righteousness. 
robe of righteousness we have to earn by our work. Revelation chapter 19 verse 8 And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright. For the fine linen is righteous act of the saint. But this verse said that fine linen is same as robe of righteousness. This robe of righteousness is our righteous act. That means we have to earn by our work. We have to pray, we have to worship, we have to read the Bible, we have to serve the church, we have to evangelize the people. This robe of righteousness becomes dirty sometimes in case we become sin. So, Revelation chapter 3 verse 4 Yet you have a few people in Sardis who have not sold their clothes. They will work with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. This robe of righteousness was not sold their clothes. Mean those Christians they kept it in good condition. It was not dirty. Because sin make it dirty. So whenever we sin, we repent right away. The repentance is our daily life. Sometimes we have to do more than daily. Like we need to take a shower every day. For the physical body, we repent every day for our spirit. This robe of righteousness is washed away by the word of God. Ephesians 5.27 this verse is famous verses talking about husband and wife. But eventually, that it will lead us to prepare the wedding of the Lamb. In this verse, to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of the God's world. So God's world cleaned our love of righteousness. Also, we may lose it if seen again and again. That's why our previous slide show Jesus mentioned several times not to be naked because we may lose it. So this robe of righteousness we have to keep it good condition. Ephesians 5 27 and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless. What does mean? We have to keep it this robe of righteousness without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish. Also, for the bride who are waiting for Jesus, we have to keep our first love. Revelation chapter 2 verse 4 But I have this complaint against you. You don't love me or each other as you did at first. So God wants us to keep our first love. This is part of reward. So more work for the glory of God and more glorious form of a dress. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me. And I will give to each person according to what they have done. Next thing I like to talk about is the parable of the wedding banquet. In Matthew 22, there was king in heaven prepare a wedding banquet for his son. Wedding banquet is wedding of the lamb. The king invited the first people. They didn't come. I believe this first people are Jewish people. And king said to his servant to street corner. I believe those people are Gentile. So a man came to the wedding banquet, verse 11. But when the king came in to see the guest, he noticed a man there who was not wearing wedding clothes. Look at this highlighted word. Not wearing wedding clothes. Because we need this wedding clothes to get into the wedding of the Lamb. Verse 12. He asked, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? The man was speechless. This is a parable. That's why this man could get into wedding banquet. In fact, 
without this wedding clothes we cannot get in so without this wedding clothes we have to kick out of this wedding banquet and gnashing our tears verse 14 for many are invited but few are chosen which means they have so many Christians so many people are listening to the message of rapture but now many people are properly dressed that's why when he is actually coming very few get raptured this is the reason I'm sending to the people this message many Christians are waiting for Jesus in fact not many people are get raptured next slide the parable of the ten virgins and the ten virgins they are all waiting for groom which means we they have so many Christians are waiting for the Jesus coming back but five of them did not take any oil with them what this mean is people who have this oil in order to welcome the groom this oil is Holy Spirit so we have to be filled by Holy Spirit without fullness of the Holy Spirit we cannot get into the wedding there's one Korean pastor she was seeing Jesus and one day she asking to Jesus what is this oil stand for she just answered her back that this oil is our tears in our eyes so he is asking us how much we are tearing how much we are tearing for the joy of salvation the love of God the grace of God is tearing you are you praying and are you worship with tears if you haven't had have tears for the last several weeks I believe you are not in the first love so it is time to repent and fasting and seek the Lord we have to be ready what he is asking for Verse 13 therefore keep watch because you do not know the day of the hour that is our hard job so many people are waiting for his coming but we don't know when he's coming exactly so every day we have to be ready Revelation chapter 3 verse 3 remember therefore what you have received and heard hold it fast and repent but if you do not wake up I will come like a thief and you will not know at what time I will come to you so God wants us hold it fast and repent because he is coming like a thief at night and that's why we have to be ready all the time I know so many Christians who are watching this video are waiting for Jesus but I want you to think about yourself are you have a full of love with Jesus are you have a full of joy with salvation your heart is 100% belong to Jesus. Do you think you have a robe of righteousness? If you have, your, lo your robe of righteousness is clean. Do you repent every time? Are you trusting him 100%? Do you love Jesus with all your heart? It is time to repent your sin. It is time to surrender all to Jesus. Jesus is our only hope. He is our only answer. He is our only life. He is our only way. God bless you.